day, learners of Bicolandia! It's nice to see you again! How are you? Today, we're going to learn something new. Come on, let's have some fun while learning! I'm Teacher Robbie, your teacher buddy in TLE. With Teacher Robbie, learning is easy! In our previous lesson, we learned about the measuring tools and the system of measurement used in technical drafting. Now, we will identify measuring tools based on the object to be measured. Remember, measurements and measuring instruments are essential for technical drafting. They ensure accuracy, precision, and consistency in the design and production of technical drawings. Without proper measurements and measuring instruments, technical drafting would be prone to errors and inefficiencies. Now, we will apply your game knowledge and skills by making a drawing play. Performance task. Line exercises. What are you waiting for? Prepare the following materials. Sharpened pencil. Eraser. Ruler. Masking tape. 1-8 size illustration board. And long size bond paper. Place your clean drawing paper on the black side of your illustration board. Take small portions of your masking tape and attach your drawing paper on your illustration board. We are going to make the borderline and title block of your drawing plate. To make the borderline, measure the edges with one half inch on the right, top, and left side of your bond paper. The bottom part is in one fourth inch. The zero of your ruler in inches should be placed directly on the edge of your drawing paper. Put a very small dot on the one half inch marking using your pencil. Drag your ruler carefully to the bottom left part of your bond paper as well and mark another one half inch using your pencil. The purpose is for you to align your one half inch markings with your ruler before you draw the line. Align your markings with your ruler. Remember to place your hand on the ruler so it won't move around when you groove your pencil. From the top edge of your paper, drive your pencil to the bottom edge. Make sure that you're holding your pencil lightly to have a light and thin line. The line should be very light and thin with a single stroke to avoid inconsistent line weight. Do the same procedure on the right and top part of your drawing paper. To enclose the borderline, place the zero of your ruler in inches on the bottom part of your drawing paper. Measure 1 fourth inch and put another marking with your pencil. Take note, always make sure that the 1 fourth inch borderline is at the bottom before you start making the title block. Darken the box using your ruler and your pencil. To have darker lines, put pressure when holding your ruler. And carefully remove the excess lines using your eraser. Let us proceed in making the title block of your drawing plate. Place the zero of your ruler on the bottom part or the one-fourth part of your border line. Better place it first close to the border line on the left side. The title block is measured 116, 316, 116, 316, and 116 inch respectively. Do the same on the right side before drawing the lines. The lines should be very thin and light since they are lettering guidelines. For the topmost part, it should be very thick and dark. Let us divide the title block into four parts with three divisions. The zero of your ruler in inches should be placed on the left side of your borderline. Mark the divisions with the given measurements. Two and one half, seven and ten inches. Darken the lines after marking them. Write the information of your drawing plate in the title block. That is the standard of making the borderline and title block. Can you still follow? 
Let us proceed in making the content of your drawing plate. Line exercises. Place the zero of your ruler in inches on the top borderline vertically. Mark these measurements with one half and six and a half inches on both left and right side of your drawing plate before drawing the lines. The lines should be light and thin first. For vertical lines, mark with the following measurements, 1 inch and 11 inches. Make sure that the zero of your ruler in inches is on the left border line. Align the markings and connect them with vertical lines. Make them thin and light as well. Darken the box and remove the excess lines for a neat and clean output. Let us mark the box with 1 fourth inch markings on the left and right side. Align the markings and draw alternating thin and thick lines. This is to practice you on how to not just measure but also control the thickness of your lines. Remove the unnecessary markings to make sure the quality of your output. finished your plate number one line exercises one now it's your time to DIY do it yourself plate number two line exercises two with the same procedure that we did in our first activity make a blank drawing plate the measurement of the borderline and the title block is a standard or should be the same Make six boxes in the blank working plate with three by three inches measurements of each box. With the use of your ruler, find the one fourth inch markings on all the lines of the six boxes to have equidistant lines. Follow the patterns you see on the screen. Your output will be rated using this criteria. And that's all, learners of Bicolandia! Thank you for your active participation. You conquer another learning mile with a smile. With me, Teacher Robbie, your teacher buddy in TLE, saying learning is easy.